Welcome to a world of mystery. Wait, who's at the door? No, I'm expecting a delivery. I mean, we're we're quite difficult to find, actually. You know, being so mysterious and all. Oh, he's left a card. But I was here the whole time. Welcome to the mysterious world of Singing Glass. I am Professor McProfessorson, your guide on this journey through the dark arts. <coughs> Hiya. This is Igor, my unpaid intern who unfortunately got stuck here during the lockdown. Now today, as a demonstration of my power, I shall summon forces from the Interregnum and make these objects sing. Actually, I think what the professor meant to say was it's going to be a physics lesson on sound. Dark magic, ignore the buffoon. Also, Professor, if I can interrupt just one more time, that it does involve the use of glass. Dark glass. So make sure you've got a grown-up to supervise. In order to make this dark magic work, one must hold the wine glass at the bottom and wet the finger in the dark magic juju. And it will begin. Nothing. Actually, it's not dark magic. It's science. Let me explain how. Yeah, he's still in the toilet. Now, between you and me, all sound is vibrations that travels through the air. And every material has what's called a resonant frequency. Now, resonant frequency is where you use your finger to give the glass enough energy to vibrate. Let's have a closer look at this vibration. Using a close-up lens, we can see these vibrations on the surface of the water. Let's look at this in slow motion, because, you know, science. Can you see the beautiful wave pattern it makes? Ain't it gorgeous? But the same vibrations that are being made in the water are also being made in the air. And this is what makes the sound. So why don't you have a go with a grown-up? See what happens when you put more water in or take some water out. Oh, hang on a minute. I can hear him flush the chain. I better go remind him that dark magic isn't going to wash his hands. See you later.